Hey Scorpios Builder Blog, today is a very exciting day. We are off on an adventure. Zach and our teammate Will are down in Santa Cruz at a competition, so I am taking over the blog. Let's see, can you guess where I'm going? Come on, let's go find out. All right, Builder Blog, we made it. If you guessed visit Inertia Labs shop, then you would have guessed correctly. We are here in the beautiful Sausalito, right by the water, to go to the Inertia Labs garage sale. All right, let's go get some stuff. How did you guys weld your titanium? Very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> so I grew up, uh, my dad is a welder, and so I kind of grew up like welding as a young kid, um, like stick welding and, you know, kind of shipyard technology. and, and uh, so I taught myself how to weld uh, basically through BattleBots. And uh, so we've built like big argon purge tanks and, and um, I've got a lot of friends in the bicycle industry that kind of pioneered welding titanium. Uh, bike frames, they came from the aerospace industry. So I got some tips and tricks from those folks and uh, basically do test welds and break them, like physically break them and then do more test welds and just try to figure out like what hangs together and what doesn't. And then from there you can start making that's awesome. What made you guys start using pneumatics in your robots? We started using pneumatics uh, just as a trial. We were using uh, mixed gases for an explosion for a robot we built called Rhino. And um, it just didn't have the ump that we wanted. So we started playing around with CO2 as a propellant and got some really good results. So that kind of led us down the path. Awesome. Um, speaking of Rhino, it's very unique. What came, how did you come up with the idea to use Halon as the weapon? Um, yeah, Rhino was a fun robot. It, it basically came from a robot called Blendo. So Jamie Heineman made this robot. It was like one of the first devastating spinners. And uh, it was pretty impressive because there was like a three, four foot Lexan wall and just bleachers out in the audience <laughs> and Blendo would go out there and just throw parts and stuff everywhere. And it was pretty, it was a pretty gnarly robot. So uh, it had a gas engine powering it. And so we started playing around with Halon gas. Um, we tried CO2 at first, it didn't work well, but the Halon, like when you just waved it anywhere near a gas engine, it just turned it off. And, oh, wow. Uh, so we outfitted him with, with that and never got to fight him, but we fought a really cool pincher robot and just like shut it off and destroyed it really fast. So that was the Halon. See that? <laughs> yeah. So, did you ever drive it? Um, no. That's pretty. Cool. I, I mean, I did, but not competitively. We had. Right. I, I am not a jockey by any means. All right, builder blog. So, to get the signed Bronco Witch Doctor um, fight pack, we need you to answer this one question. What is your favorite? inertia labs robot and why that's amazing how did you get your start in robotics uh, i started working with a, a group called srl um, when i was I don't know, about 14 years old and um, we'd seen some shows as a little kid in san francisco that were just radical like giant excavators and explosions and stuff so i was pretty hooked at a young age and then started working with them and then when Robot Wars started initially, uh, Xander and I were like, oh yeah, we could do that. It's like two weeks away. So we totally had enough time and we had like 300 bucks. So we're like, we'll build a robot. And uh, it didn't work out very well. <laughs> but from that point, we were really hooked and uh, had a great time. Excellent. So the last time we saw Bronco was on Bounty Hunters in 2020. Are you guys, do you have plans on bringing it back ever or? Uh, something no, else. No, we, we don't. Um, we, we basically retired Bronco. It's been a really fun, fun run with him. And uh, he's been an amazing robot. But um, we sold Bronco and all of its parts and his IP to BattleBots. So now Bronco, instead of sitting behind me on the wall here for the next 20 years, is in Las Vegas. And um, they've built another Bronco. So I think they have three now and uh so they're running bronco uh pretty much every night that they can down there and oh at the destructathon at the destructathon yeah. oh cool so i was super stoked to see bronco like 
get appreciated and enjoyed by fans and uh, and keep running. And so we don't really have the time to do that. And I'm um, really happy BattleBots does. Excellent. Yeah. This is why the cat is never done. 